welcome back to Cast TV. Today we're going to be doing a video about what soft plastic lures to use, such as Reigns, Z-Man, or Zoom, or many other brands. Um, so what soft plastics to use when using a drop shot rig. So here I just have a little drop shot rig tied up. I got my drop shot weight, hook, and I just tie a little loop on the end to attach it to my main line. So this is a drop shot rig right here. Um, if you guys don't know how to tie one, you can check out one of my older videos. Um, I have a video on that. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description below for that. So this is a drop shot rig, and here are the plastics you're going to be using. So now let's um, show you guys what they look like in water, and we'll get some GoPro footage um, once the GoPro finishes charging. So this is the tank we're going to be using, or a little bowl. And um, we're going to be trying out each of these three lures. So we got Reigns, Soft Plastics, Z-Man Soft Plastics, and we got a Zoom Baby Brush Hog. So we're all we're going to be putting all these on the drop shot rig, alright? So let's get into the footage. Alright guys, so I'm going to be showing you um, each of the plastics I have today. Um, starting with the Reigns um, Bourbon Shaker. Uh, I have it in green pumpkin color. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a nice drop shot bait, um, finesse tactic for spring, summer, um, and it's really nice action on it. You can see it's wobbling around. So when you take your drop shot hook, like I have here, um, you're going to want to just put it right through the nose. It's called nose hooking it, and then out like that. So you could um, put it in different parts of the body if you want different action, but this is the most basic way to do it. And then you just cast your line out there. And then the first thing that hit the bottom, as you can see in the tank would, or on the ground in the lake, would be the weight. And then slowly, with time, um, your plastic would follow it. But the weight hitting first gives the plastic more time um, to give action all the way down to the bottom. And by giving it twitches of your rod like this, um, you guys can see it has really nice action on it. Um, and from the top view, still looks really good, like that. So that is the Reigns Bird Ring Shaker for our first um, plastic for drop drying. So now let's get on to um, zoom. Alright guys, so after I do all these um, out of tank views, I'm going to put the GoPro in and show you guys, um, try to get an underwater view. So the next one we're doing is the Zoom Tiny Brush, Tiny Brush Hog in Green Pumpkin also. So this is what it looks like, uh, got some nice appendages, paddles on it, um, stuff like that. So we're going to take our hook again, and we're just going to put it right through the top, this, and out, just like that. So drop shot weight goes in first, the bait always follows. So same with this, uh, you could jig it off the bottom, twitches of your rod, it would look really good. Um, around any brush and it can rip through cover pretty easily. Uh, with a small hook you have a less chance of getting snagged. So this is going to be a good tactic um, for those bass when they come up to bed during the spring, early summer, stuff like that. So definitely give this one a try too. Alright so the last one before the GoPro footage is going to be this Z-Man finesse shad. So when you drop shotting you really want to try to have finesse tactics, um, thin baits like this. Um, the only thing I really don't like about this bait is it has the under bottom for a hook, but it's still okay because um, the rest of the bait's pretty nice and it holds up really well with its uh, extra tough plastic by Z Man. So we're just going to do the same thing nose hook it like that um, and tend to cast our bait out there. So the weight goes in first. Um, same thing with this one, except this one actually floats a little more. Um, it's really light, so it'll definitely fall slower. You guys can see it's actually kind of staying on the surface there. Um, but in a real situation, when you have more line in the water, it will sink. Um, but you can see it's still this bait has some nice action. Uh, just swimming around the water there. So this is going to be another good um, drop shot tactic. So now let's get into the GoPro footage for these three um, soft plastics. All right, guys, time for the GoPro footage. We're putting the GoPro in the tank. Get it in there. Alright, so the first one we're gonna 
do is the, the last one we just left off, uh, the finesse shad. So we're gonna check out the action from the GoPros footage or what would be more All right, like. Alright, so as you guys can see um, here, looking at a bait. Um, I just plop the weight down. I'll get it out of the way in a minute. So the weight would always hit the bottom first, and then the bait would follow it. So the hook does have a little weight to it. So as you can see, that's the part that's dipping down, and the upper tail is staying up. So the bass will like see that the fish is kind of feeding off the bottom, um, shallow up when the bass come during the spring. So this is kind of like a sunfish or a little perch presentation, which is eating the bottom. So the bass could kind of see far away, like a little fish just melt towards the bottom, tail in the air like this. Um, so this is a really nice um, action showing that on the um, Z-Man soft plastic. And also this bait's really stretchy as you can see there. So this isn't going to get um, torn up too easily if you're going through brush or anything like that. So that is the Z-Man um, first one. Now let's get on to the reins. Alright guys, so the next one we're doing is going to be the reins soft plastic. So here I am. Of course the weight's going to hit the bottom like always first. Um, and then the plastic is going to fall. So as you can see, same thing like the other one, um, the Z-Man. The bait is going nose down towards the bottom, like a fish feeding off the bottom like that. So this bait has really good action, um, similar to the Z-Man. I like this one a little better because it has the kind of a kick with the little paddle tail on there, if you guys can see that um, going by. But overall, pretty nice bait um, for the reins. Uh, soft plastic right there. So, pretty good. Definitely give that a try um, for drop shot. That would be the reins. So now we're going to get on to the final one, which is the brush hog. Alright guys, here's the last one. So, as always, weight hits the bottom. Um, lure falls. So I think this one's going to be better in the summertime or late spring. It's got a lot of appendages, you can see, swimming by there. Um, and this one kind of suspends a little off the bottom. If you just let it float down, uh, kind of does a little shimmy down to the um, bottom like that, you guys can see. So that's the last one we have today. Um, that was the Zoom. So I hope you guys liked um, this video. Um, and I hope you guys can try out all these soft plastics like Reigns, um, Z-Man, and the Brush Hog. So these are all going to be effective um, for drop shotting. So definitely give them a try. And thanks for watching.